For each of the following networks, draw the minimum spanning tree and find its length. To draw the minimum spanning tree, there are different ways of doing it. Uh, it's basically joining all the nodes and the length of, uh, if you add the lengths, uh, the total length should be minimum. So the way in which I like to do it, you can choose, so first look at the length between the nodes start with the lowest so I'm starting I'm going to connect D and E so I'm going to connect D and E because that is the lowest that is the smallest length so I'm going to say D and E are connected the next lowest is 4 so I'm going to connect D and E it doesn't matter you can connect in any order okay so A, E and D are connected now the next lowest is 5. So I'm going to connect E and C. Okay, so now B is left out. So B can be connected by uh, either you can look at 6, 7 or 10. Now out of 6, 7 and 10, 6 is the... Uh, no, sorry. Sorry. So 6 you should not connect C and D because it is connected through E. So C and D needs not need not be connected. So I'm going to cross this out. Now B can be connected by from A to B or you can also connect from C to B. So I'm going to, this is not the smallest, so I'm going to choose this. So now this is the minimum spanning tree. So all the nodes are connected and the total length is the total length between the nodes. So this is 3 plus, so basically this is 3 plus 4, this is 7, isn't it? 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7. So 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 plus 7 is 19. So the total length of the minimum spanning tree is 19. Okay, let's move on. So here again the same process, look at the smallest distance, okay, so the smallest is 3, so I'm going to connect D, C and D, so that is 3. The next smallest is, uh, the next is 4, so I'm connecting B and C, so that is the distance of 4. Okay, now we have got uh, 5, so the next is 5, so I'm going to connect phi so that is phi so now we have to choose between a and f so looking at so if you look at 12 a can be connected a can be connected to b or it can be connected to c or it can be connected to e so to connect a the smallest is this so i'm not going to connect this i'm not going to use this node so i'm connecting c and a which has a length of 5. Now F is left out. So F can be connected by 7, 8 or 9. So this I'm not going to connect. So this is just trial and error and this is, so this is called the minimum spanning tree. Okay, and the length is just the addition of all the lengths which is 7 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7. Okay, so this is how much? 10 plus, this is 9 plus 7 is 16, which is 26. The total length of the minimum spanning tree is 26. Okay, moving on. Look at this. Okay, so here again, what are we going to do? We're going to, uh, so which is the smallest here? Okay, the smallest is uh, the smallest is four. Am I right? So this is to be connected first. So C and E. That is four. Okay. The next is you got the next is six. Okay. So I'm going to connect D and F. Okay. The next is what? you got 
7, you got two 7s, so you got this 7 and you got this 7. So I think I should join this and so that is the length of 7 and this is also length of 7. So now you are, you got basically three groups. So this is A, B, D, F are connected. So if you want to connect this two nodes with this node, <coughs> what are we going to do? Okay, so you have got this A, the option of 8. 8 will connect C and B or you can connect E and B. I think this is greater, so I'll cross that out. So I'm going to choose this option. That is 7. Okay, now from G, you can connect, you got 10 and you got 12. So this is greater. So I'm not going to use this, so I'm going to use this. So this is 10. So this is connected, so all the nodes are connected and this is minimum spanning tree. Okay, and the total length is, so this is how much D to F is 6. So this is, let's start from 10, 10 plus 6, plus 7, plus 7, 7 plus 7 plus 7, yeah, plus 4. Okay, so this is 16 plus 21, plus 4. Okay, so this is 16 plus 25, which is how much? 41. So the total length is 41. Okay, so let's move on and do one more question. So how would you do this? Again, the same process. You can pause this video and try to do it yourself if you can. Okay, so let me use a different color. Okay, so here the smallest is again A to B, which is 4. So I'm going to connect A and B first. Okay, which is the next option? The next option is from B to C, so you got you can connect B and C. Okay, I'm not going to use A to F because this is smaller, so I'm going to cross this out. Okay, so this is connected, B and F are connected by length of pi. Okay, now what can we do? So now we have to connect C, D and E. So if you want to connect C, you can either use these two. If you look at these two, this is greater, so I'm going to cross that out, so I'm going to use this 5. Okay, now for D, you have got 3 and 5. I'm going to cross out 5, so I'm going to use 3. And finally, you've got 4 and 6. And 6 is greater, so I'm going to cross that out, and this is connected. That is 4, and if you add them, 4 plus 10 uh, is 14, plus 3 is 17, plus 4 is 21. So the total length is 21. Okay, and that's how you find the minimum spanning tree.